as a pharmacist um, back home in Uganda, in Africa, you're the first point of contact for like most people who can't afford to see a doctor. So naturally, you're getting to understand people and their problems. So it got me thinking about, in a deeper way, how do I get to understand this and study it and get the tools that I need um, through public health. But when COVID hit, I decided to stop waiting and just go for it. Basically, I picked Flinders over the other universities because the message that I kept hearing online and on the website was at Flinders, you will be supported, you'll be cared for. Which with such, with such a big move, I knew I wanted to get like an excellent education, but I also wanted to be around highly supportive environment. So I applied for the Vice Chancellor Scholarship um, after I got my acceptance and pretty much on our way here, I was just like, oh, why not give it a chance? Like if you don't, it's a no, so. Um, and I got it, that was really, um, it changed a lot for us. It, it was amazing, uh, it just means that that I get to spend more time with my daughter if I'm not studying <laughs> and basically focus on, on school. Maybe every couple of weeks I tell her, I'm really working hard for you. I'm doing this for you. I want to make you proud. And she, she always says, but mommy, I'm already proud of you. It's also such a big motivation for me. Like I'm not playing games, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm here to win it, whatever it is, <laughs> the pursuit of excellence. Yeah, I think about that quite a lot. Um, we want the best life for her. Some of my lecturers are really like um, invested in my success. I love that. They are as invested. <laughs> I feel like they are as invested as I am. <laughs> my classmates. I mean, they're, they're from everywhere in the world and they're amazing. Like each of them has a story and it's, um, it's just great to see what, they, what their dreams are, what their hopes are. Hi, I'm Angela Semanda from Uganda in East Africa and I'm studying a Master of Public Health here at Flinders University.